Hello and welcome to tonight's episode of Your Organist Entertains with your virtual church here at Bells Hill Central Parish Church. It was suggested to me that I update my little welcome intro and I could perhaps do this and welcome you quite literally through our front doors. So let's come in and let's have some virtual church with the Organist Entertains at Bells Hill Central. Tonight is episode 33 of our ongoing series and I do hope that you enjoy the hymns and songs that have been requested and dedicated tonight. So sit back and relax. We begin tonight remembering Betty, Betty Mackey, who sat faithfully in the church choirs for many, many years here at Bells Hill. I've done the tour round about the building, sitting in different people's seats, so it was particularly appropriate that tonight I use Betty's seat. Betty sadly passed away last week after a short illness, so there are a couple of pieces tonight dedicated to Betty. The first one is the hymn, Just As I Am Without One Plea. A couple of years ago, I asked members of the church choir, would any of them like to sing a solo or perhaps a duet during the church service? Betty was very, very keen to sing something and enlisted the help of Anne Guy so that they could sing a duet as an anthem here in the church. The piece that they chose was Just As I Am Without One Plea to the tune of Saffron Walden. So here we have our opening hymn tonight, Just For You Betty.
That's just a beautiful hymn, isn't it? So it's a beautiful hymn for a beautiful person, and we remember you fondly, Betty. The next item we have tonight is a request of another choir member. The request is from June Cook, who is also Bells Hill Central's church treasurer. And the hymn that June has requested is Be Still My Soul, to the tune, of course, of Finlandia. The tune is very important to June. The words, of course, Be Still My Soul, brings back memories of people gone before from funeral and memorial services. But more recently, the choir have sung the words, not on a war horse, but a humble donkey. And that's a, an item that we have used on Palm Sunday. It's a beautiful tune, wonderful harmonies, from Sibelius's symphonic poem, Finlandia. And I do hope that you enjoy this hymn, which we don't often sing these days. And thank you to June for requesting it.
Our next item is requested by a friend of Bells Hill Central, and that is Anne Maguire. And I know that she is tuning along at home with her husband, Colm. Anne was an organist for many, many years and was organist at Les Mahigo Old Parish Church before finally leaving the organ bench and retiring. Anne has requested a choral piece, a shorter piece, but it's a piece that we actually were working on here at Bells Hill Central before lockdown stopped our choir practices. It is the Schubert Sanctus. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. So, thank you, Anne, for requesting this wonderful piece of music. And for all those choir members of Bells Hill Central, look out your music and sing along. And this is turning to a virtual church, a virtual church choir at home. Enjoy. Last episode, we had a harvest special and we included the hymn for the beauty of the earth. Now, I did mention that you can sing that tune also to Dix, D-I-X, which is more commonly sung to As With Gladness Men of Old. However, that created a little bit of chat. So tonight, we're going to have For the Beauty of the Earth once more. I'm going to play half to As With Gladness Men of Old, the tune of Dicks, 
and I'm also going to use the tune England's Lanes, which was brought to my attention by the Reverend Tony Newnham, who is a retired minister and a church organist. He lives down south and he tunes in regularly to these virtual churches. So thank you, Tony, for reminding me that there is yet another tune to For the Beauty of the Earth. And for those that missed it last week, we have it once more. The next item tonight is a hymn requested by our minister's former organist back in South Africa at Florida Methodist Church. Ed Anderson is very much a friend of us here at Bell South Central and we do enjoy and I look forward to receiving your requests for inclusion in these episodes. The hymn that you've requested is Jesus Stand Among Us, and you have requested the tune of Caswell. Now, as I look through the hymn book, it is in our old hymn book, but it's set to a different tune, although I do know it to this tune. So Jesus Stand Among Us is at number 11 in our old hymn book, and it would have been a favourite introit of choir members or a hymn to start the service. The tune in the hymn book in front of me is Adsis Jesu. Jesus, stand among us in thy risen power. Let this time of worship be a hallowed hour. But Caswell is in the book as well although it's set to a different tune. And the tune can be found at hymn number... Oh, it's called something else in this book. These books are very, very good because it gives you one tune and then it gives you the alternative name of it. And I shall just look it up just now. And it's set to words that I really didn't know. 671. These are the joys of being an organist. You have to look up tune numbers as well as 
him words. So the tune and the words that Ed has requested is Jesus stand among us in thy risen power let this time of worship be a hallowed hour. Thanks Ed for requesting this wonderful hymn. Moving on, we have a hymn requested by a choir member here at Bellsill Central, Elspeth Dornan. She has asked for the hymn, Love Lifted Me. And that is a hymn written by James Rowe, with music by Howard Smith. It's a hymn, again, which we don't sing very often these days. I was sinking deep in sin, sinking to rise no more, overwhelmed by guilt within, mercy I did implore. With the refrain, love lifted me, love lifted me, when no one but Christ could help, love lifted me. And that is a wonderful hymn to remember that yes, love lifts us. And when no one else but Christ can help us, the love of Christ will lift us up. So thank you, Elspeth, for requesting this beautiful hymn.
We're almost at the end of tonight's Organist Entertains and we have a hymn requested from Alexa Walker, who is a choir member here at Bells Hill. She has chosen, if I come to Jesus, he will make me glad. Now I think I included this hymn during the summer when I was looking at some of the older children's hymns and this is obviously a favourite of Alexa, perhaps singing it herself or she remembers her boys singing it in their Sunday school days. It's set to an old French melody and the words are written by Francis Van Alstyne who died in 1915. Thank you Alexa for requesting If I Come to Jesus. Our penultimate hymn request tonight comes to us from our, one of our friends at Craig Walkert Church in Edinburgh. The hymn is, Sing to the Lord a joyful song. Lift up your hearts, your voices raise. To us his gracious gifts belong. To him our songs of love and praise. The hymn has been requested by Mary McLeod, who is a choir member at Craig Lockhart Church. And she's chosen this hymn as a choir singer, and it will have the same sentiment to the choir here at Bells Hill Central, and choirs and just singers all over the land who are unable to meet just now during lockdown. She's chosen it in the hope that we'll all be singing together again soon. And yes, as a choir master, I really do hope that we're able to meet together for the fun, the singing, and the fellowship that I know the singers here at Bells Hill Central miss from the Friday night choir practices. The words sing to the Lord a joyful song were written by John Monsell, and it is set to the tune Glenfallon Royal, written by Percy Carter Buck. So thank you, Mary, and this is for all choir singers. Sing to the Lord a joyful song.
We finish the requests section tonight with a rousing and great hymn of praise. The hymn is To God be the glory, great things he hath done. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he hath done. This is a favourite hymn of our session clerk, Stanley Cook, who also is a choir member here at Bells Hill Central Parish Church. And as I'm introducing this final hymn, this quite literally has been a musician's night. We've had Just As I Am Without Twin Plea, requested by myself, remembering Betty. Be Still My Soul by June Cook, a choir member here at Bells Hill Central. The Schubert Sanctus, requested by retired organist Anne Maguire. For the beauty of the earth, the different tunes that we can sing it to brought to my attention by a retired minister and church organist, Tony Newnham. Our minister's former organist in South Africa, Ed, for Jesus Stand Among Us. Love Lifted Me, choir member here in Bells Hill Central, requested by Elspeth Dornan. If I Come to Jesus, again requested by a choir member here at Bells Hill Central, Alexa. And then the penultimate hymn that we've just had, Sing to the Lord a Joyful Song, requested by Mary MacLeod, for all singers everywhere. So tonight really has been a musician's special. So we finish with Stanley Cook's request of To God Be the Glory, Great Things He Has Done.
Well, we've reached the end of the requests section, but we have two pieces of music which are dedicated to our friend Betty, who passed away last week. The first is a song which Betty often requested to sing the solo. It is Lead Me Lord by Wesley. Now Betty got to sing that solo in February of this year when we sang that as a choir anthem. It's a hymn of praise and we will have the two sets of words tonight so that you get the music for double the length. It's a beautiful piece of music which I often think doesn't last long enough if you only sing it to the words which are in the anthem book. So I'll play it through twice and we'll have the two sets of words. Finally, after that, I'm going to play the Song of the Clyde. It was a piece that Betty sang back in her youth and she loved the song, even requesting from me only a couple of months before lockdown stopped us getting to church that could I play it during the church service? So I looked up the music, didn't tell her I was going to do it and we had the Song of the Clyde during the offering one Sunday morning and the smile on Betty's face was just priceless when she realised that I had listened to her and that I had played her request. So from the choir at Bells Hill Central, I just want to sum up by saying, Betty, we will miss you. Your infectious laugh, your little looks, which said a thousand words. And everyone loved you, Betty, but you loved everyone as well. You were interested in everybody and you took the time to speak with people and spend time with them and find out about them. You certainly made me feel very, very welcome when I became the organist here at Bellsell Central Parish Church. And you quite quickly informed me that you were this church's lead alto. Well, in fact, Betty was the only alto when I arrived at Bells Hill Central. However, the altos grew to three and you enjoyed singing and you enjoyed being quite devilish at choir. The three of you, Betty, my mum Mary and Elspeth would quite often be seen huddling together in these three seats, chatting away, not listening to a word that I was saying, much to the amusement of the rest of the choir. So we are all thankful that you were our friend and our fellow singer. We'll miss you, but well done, you good and faithful servant.
Well, that's all the music finished for another week. And we come back to you again next week for episode 34 of The Organist Entertains, which is filling up already with people's requests. What I would like to say is a thank you to everybody who comments, who tunes in and who sends requests through. Without all of you, it would be pretty pointless doing these videos. The whole point of doing the videos is to keep you connected with this building, with the sounds of the organ, with your favourite hymns, whether it be the tunes or whether it be the words, and telling me why you are requesting the hymn and why it is your request. So keep the requests coming in. It looks like these requests will be coming in for quite a bit longer as the end is not in sight of a return to church. There is a little link below and that will give you, no sorry, there's two links below. There is a link to a donation portal which you can give a donation to our church that is set up by the Church of Scotland, a safe and secure way if you would like to pop a donation to us. Secondly, there is a link which allows you to download a, a proper hymn sheet if that's what you prefer to do. Or you can use the words which are going up and down the side of the screen. Now, I should have said that at the beginning. So if you want to use the words sheet, perhaps you might want to go back to the beginning and sing everything again. But when you tune in next week, use the word sheet, if you choose to do so, which is given below. So thank you for tuning in. And we finish with our keep safe, stay well, and good night.